Hello friends, I am Champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about static keyword or static functions in Java. So there is a lot of use of static function in Java. Your print f print ln statement which is used to print anything is executed with the is also a static function. Okay. So today we will learn how we can create a static function and how we can use this. So here I am creating one class class with the name class swap and creating one static function in this. Static fun why we created it as static I will tell you later. So for making any function static you, sh you have to write just static before that function ok so it is static and return type is void and it will get two parameters from the calling statement then what it is doing it is swapping the value of x and y how it is swapping I have temporarily created one integer z the value of x is transferred to z and value of y then transferred to x then value of z is transferred to y which have the value of x and y then it prints the value of x and y simply okay so this is swap class which contains a static function swap then in the class which contains main the name of the class is static x means static example which creates a main function and it has two integers x and y which have value 5 and 7 first of all it prints the value of x and then y it will print here 5 and 7 then here we have called the swap function which is present in swap class swap class is this because it has s capital which suggests it is a class so for calling the static function we can simply call the static function uh, with the name of the class by using the dot operator you don't need to create any object for running the for using the static function that is the main use of the static function you don't need to create the object of that class to run that function this is the main use why we use static functions similarly system.out.println works and similarly swap.swap works so when we call swap it is a class with dot operator then the static function swap it calls it calls this okay so here we have passed x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7 here and then it gets swap and prints the value of x and y so now let us look let us see its output so that we can clearly uh, see that is it working or not i have said this with static x dot java for compiling i am writing java c static x dot java then for running java static x first of all it writes 5 and 7 then by after swapping 7 and 5 okay this is about static function thank you very much